Good day all, welcome to another Math Mondays with Learning Support. This Math Monday is going to be on something that a lot of students that I tutor tend to have a lot of issues with, but is actually really, really simple. And that is on how to deal with problems containing ratios. And the first thing to know about ratios is that a ratio is just another way of writing a fraction. So before we get into anything, let's first look at the following example. So Orosh recommends you mix the concentrate into the water at a ratio of 3 to 7, which is read as 3 parts Oros to 7 parts water. Therefore, how much milliliters of Oros must I use if I have a 250 milliliter cup to mix in? And although this may seem complicated, if I gave you this question in this form, this would seem very, very simple. And the form is that if I had 7 over 10 of a 250 milliliter glass containing water, how many milliliters of Oros are in the cup? And from this question, we'll know immediately that the amount of Oros is 3 over 10, because 1 minus 7 over 10 is 3 over 10. And we do this because whatever is not water in the glass must therefore be Oros. Now that we have this in fractional form, it is, very, is a, it is as simple as multiplying the total liquid with the fraction to get what the fraction of Oros is. And if we do this, we go 3 over 10 times 250 mils and we get 75 mils. So what does this actually show us? And it shows us that the first step in handling ratios is writing them in the fractional form. So let's do this using the previous example and do this using the equation. So remember the previous example was, Oros is mixed in the ratio three to seven. What is the fraction of the, what fraction of the drink is the Oros concentrate? And now remember we used this equation here, the fraction is equal to the part of the ratio we want to work out over the sum of all the numbers in the ratio. So using this equation, we find that we take the number three, because that's the part of the ratio we want to work out, because that's the amount of Oros in it. So we take the three, we put it on top, then we need to sum all the fractions in the ratio. So we see we have a three and we have a seven. So we go three plus seven, and then therefore you find that the fraction is three over 10. And you know from this point, as I said in the previous slide, once we have this fraction, all we do is we multiply this by the total liquid. So now let's go see if we can go do a slightly more difficult example. So here's the example, Danny, John and George all get $100 split between them in the ratio three to six to four respectively. How much does each person get? So doing this, let's first start with Danny. Okay, so we know that the total amount is 100, so we put 100 in there, and then we multiply. Remember, we have to put it into fractional form. And you see Danny here, because it's respectively, Danny is the first number. So the first thing we do is we put the three of the top. And then remember what I said when we're converting it to a fraction, we have to put that three over the sum of all the uh, numbers in the ratio. So it becomes three over three plus six plus four, which equals 100 times three, because the three stays the same, over 13, because that's the total of all of them, which equals $23.08. Now let's go look at John. So John, once again, we still own, we have $100 to split between them. John is now the second number. So we take that six and we put it at the top of the fraction. Now, the important thing to remember, guys, is that once you've totaled all of these numbers here, that total's never going to change. So I don't have to put, say that this is six over three plus six plus four. I can skip that step and say that it's immediately at six because that's the number represented by John over 13 because that's the total. And if you do this, you will get $46.16. The last one to do would be George. And then again, we follow the same thing. We take 100, which is the total, and we multiply it by the four, because the four is the number that represents George. And we put it all over the total, which is 13, which we did when we were working out Danny. And if you calculate this, you will find that the number that George gets is $30.76. And now, once you guys have got all the values, especially in a question like this, the only thing to do to check your answer is to make sure all three of these values total up to the total value set at the start. So doing this, we take 23.08 plus 46.16 plus 30.76, which will all equal to $100, proving that we have done the ratio correct and that these people will therefore get these amounts respectively. 
Thank you for watching another learning support video. As always, please hit the like button and subscribe. And also guys, please let me know if there's anything else you would like to see me do next. Thanks a lot guys, I will see you all next week. Thank you.